What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakir and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys today in this video I'm gonna show you that how you can install the Ubuntu 22.04 Jammy Jellyfish the latest 8 year version with the manual partitioning. So further ado let's get started. But before that if you need to this channel then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and if you have already subscribed then thank you so much. So guys first of all what you need to do you need to download the virtual box and the ubuntu 22.04 iso file so to do this open up your browser then go to google.com and first of all search for virtual box then go to this first website then click on downloads and from here download the virtual box installer according to your operating system i am using windows so i had already downloaded the windows version and install it on my computer then again go to google.com and search for ubuntu 22.04 lts download then click on this link and then from here you can download the ubuntu 22.04 lts jammy jellyfish version click here and it will start downloading i had already downloaded the virtual box and install it on my computer and also downloaded this iso file so I'm not gonna download it again. Now let me show you how to install it as a virtual machine in a virtual box with the manual partitioning. After installing the virtual box, open it on your computer. Here you can see I have already two virtual machine running right here. Now to create a new virtual machine, click on new and name it as Ubuntu 22.04 from the types select linux and the version is ubuntu 64 bit then click on next now here give it a ram for this virtual machine here i'm gonna give 4096 4 gigs then click on next make sure to select the create a virtual hard disk now then again click on create and here select virtual disk image then next and here either you can select dynamically allocated or fixed size it's up to you i'm gonna select dynamically allocated then again click next now here you need to specify a disk size for your ubuntu virtual machine here i'm gonna give 50 gb then click on create okay now the basic configuration is ready now we need to add the iso file into this virtual machine so for this click on start and a window will pop up like this now click on this icon then click on add and now select the ubuntu iso file whatever you downloaded i keep it in my software folder in operating system folder then linux and here you can see i have kept all of the linux iso files so here is the ubuntu 22.04 desktop version the latest one so i'm going to select it and click on open then click on choose and start and you can see the installation will start and you will get this group menu from here select try or install ubuntu i'm gonna switch it to full screen this is the new starter look of ubuntu 22.04 now you will get this screen and from here click on install ubuntu make sure to select your keyboard layout from here then click on continue and from here select this option also install third party software for graphics wi-fi hardware then click on continue now it's time to partition the hard drive here we're not gonna use the erase disks and install ubuntu we are gonna manually partition the hard drive so i'm gonna select on something else then click on continue so now you have to create a partition table for your hard drive so select the virtual hard drive and click on new partition table then click on continue so this is the 50 gb free space now here we need to create four partition number one is efi Number two is root or system file. Number three is home. And number four is swap. So now let's create a EFI partition. For this, select the free space. Then click on this plus icon. 500 MB is more than enough for a partition of EFI. So give here 500. Then click on use as. And from here, select this EFI system partition. Then click on OK so our efi partition is created now you have to create the root partition or the system file partition 
So again, select the free space, click on this plus icon. Here I'm gonna give 20 GB. So here I'll type 20480 and from the uses, I'm gonna select ext4 and for the mount point, I'll select slash for the root directory. Then click on OK. Now we have to create the home directory. So again, we are going to select the free space and click on this plus icon. And for the home directory, I will select 25 GB. So here I will type 25600. Then click on use as, select txt4. And for the mount point, select home. Then click on OK. Now here we have the free space of 7 GB. I'm going to create a swap partition with this free space. Remember that you have to create the swap area more than your RAM. So I select my RAM 4 GB and here I'm going to select the swap area 7 GB. So again, I'll select it and click on this plus icon. And from the users menu, I'm going to select swap area. Then click on OK. So here you can see all of our partition is created. Now to install the Ubuntu, Select the ext4 slash this partition, then click on install now, then continue again. Now from here you need to select your location, then click on continue. Now here you need to give your username to create a user account of your Ubuntu machine. Here I'm going to type my name and I will set a password, then click on continue. And it will start installing the Ubuntu in your virtual machine. Now it's going to take some time, so you have to wait until the installation is completed. Okay guys, now the installation has been completed. Now you have to restart your Ubuntu machine. So just normally click on restart now and it will restart your Ubuntu machine. Now you can see your Ubuntu has been installed. Now just log into your Ubuntu account and here you can see it's not full screen. Just right click on desktop, then click on display setting and from the resolution, Select the resolution, whatever you have for your monitor. In my case, it's full HD. So I'm going to select 1920 into 1080. Then click on apply and keep changes. And here you can see my virtual machine is now full screen. And now I can easily use the Ubuntu 22.04, the latest latest version in a virtual machine. So guys, like this, you can easily install Ubuntu operating system in your virtual machine and also in your main computer because I already show you how to partition the hard drive to install it. You can follow the same way to partition your computer real hard drive and install the Ubuntu operating system as your main operating system. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you are watching Instruct Tutorial and I'm signing out.